Hi guys, let's have a look at using Pixel R, and in this case Pixel R X, to create an Instagram graphic. Now we're going to start by removing the background from an image. So let's open the image we're going to work with. This is really nifty, and you're, you're going to actually love this. Now, choose a file. The file I want is Girl with Secret. There we go. Girl with Secret 61605. Is that the one we want? I think that's the one we want because today it's seven. Yes, that's the previous one. There we go. Good. I agree and proceed your privacy choices. Now, that's the one we want. Ignore the ads in the background. And we've got one layer, and that's the image in the layer. Now, I want to remove the background. So it's quite simple. We've got that one selected. You can see the, the blue um, bar around it. And don't forget, we're on the web here. This is not an app that's on the iPad. This is just using Safari to, uh, to go on the Internet. So let's go find how we do this. You tap on the scissors, and that brings you to the cutout mode. Now, the cutout mode, I want to remove the background. So let's just select the magic icon there. Contiguous. Do we want contiguous? Let's see. Now, with all that selected, all we need to do is touch in the background, and it's gone. If we take contiguous off and touch over here, what that does, we could have done that in the first place. And everywhere that's the same colour as where I just touched will be removed from the image. And you can see that the image is now looking very nice. No background, just the girl with the secret. Now, that's how easy that is. I mean, really, how quickly can you do something like this? Mind you, if you want to get rid of the ads on the side, subscribe to Premium. And you'll see the link in the description below this video. Now, that's a transparent PNG, and that's exactly what I want. So let's just save that as Girl with a Secret S. Now, I don't want to take the chance of overwriting anything, so I'll put no, no background. That sounds good. No mistaking that. Click Return. Done. Now that tried to open it, oops, there we go, accept that. So just ignore that, it was done, we didn't want to open it, and it saved it. There it is, no background, very nice. Now, we want to put that into an Instagram post. So all you do is scroll down, you can see that, how easy is this? Just scroll down to where all the templates are and select Instagram post. Now, there's lots of people love their dogs, don't they? Dogs and cats. But what I'm looking for is an Instagram post that just catches my eye. Load more. There are so many of them. Mm, they're all fashion ones, aren't they? Now, I don't want fashion. Let's go back, back to the top. Scroll, scroll, scroll. There is one in particular. There it is, Paradise. A pet lover's paradise. Now, I know that one's free. See, when you tap on it, it says free up in the top left-hand corner there. And that's exactly what I want, free. Use this template. And there it is. Now you can see over the left, over the right hand side, sorry, there's all of the layers because it's made up of layers. There's the layer selected and it's the image of the dog on a green background. What I'm going to do is place our own image so I'll just turn that one off by touching the little eye that's on it. Bottom right hand side of that layer, you can see there I've turned it off. 
We've got a hat there as well. I'll unlock the hat and turn that off as well. So the hat and the eye, the hat and the dog are gone. What I want to do is place my own image in there. Add media. Photo library. Mm, no, we don't want that. Cancel. Choose file. There she is, girl with a secret. Now it's got the white background. Do we want that? No, we don't want that. So we can just undo that. Add media. Choose file. And there she is. Let's enlarge that a little bit. That's all there is to it. So now I was trying I was ratting around looking for the right image there, but if you're actually doing this yourself, what you do is have all your files in a place that you know where they are so you can go find them instantly. Now those layers there, you can either delete them to get them out or leave them there. Quite often I prefer to leave them there. It does make your file size perhaps a bit larger, but it's not much to deal with these days. If you leave them there, you know where they are and you can come back to it. You don't have to rebuild the whole thing. But there's the layer we're using. Let's bring the girl out a little larger and put her down there. The Pet Lover's Paradise. Let's change that, shall we? Now you see I've gone to the top there with the box with the arrow in it. That's the edit mode. And there's our Pet Lover's Paradise. There's the text that's in that top box. A, let's make that all capitals. And make it a secret paradise. Much better. Shop now. Let's change that to go now. Now we've got that logo down there. Let's see if we can find that logo. There we go, pet shop logo. Unlock it so we can hide it. And what I want to put in there is my own logo. So go to the photo library. Now this is Apple's photo library. Because all Apple iPhones and iPads have their own photo library, as you're probably well aware by now. So let's scroll down because I'm looking for the my logo for this particular um, identification. Now it's a fair way down. You can see I've got lots of lots and lots of imagery down there, photos everywhere. Now we're getting close to it. Is it that one? No, I think there's one below it actually. Perhaps there's not. That one. Now, for some reason, it's pulling that in too. Now, I don't want that. I just want that. Delete. Now, you look at that and you think, wow, that's too big. No, it's not. There we go. Now, you'll notice it's got a white background to it. That's because it hasn't had the background removed. So 
what we can do now is go back to the edit mode and go to save save it as a jpg because this is an instagram um, instagram gadget remember and we obviously don't want pet lovers s-e-c-r-e-t let's call it secret paradise and apply that name to it we can open that in photo or more but that's done there's secret paradise and we've got the logo there so let's go find that image photo library what I'm looking for again is uh, there is definitely some value in putting your images that you're going to use in your project in their own folder now I'm almost certain I do have that logo with a transparent background can we find it now there's one there's the next one there's that one however let's open that let's use that one let's go to that the magic wand untick contiguous and touch the background now that's removed the white text and everything uh, which is not what we want not what we want so let's not tick contiguous let's tap that tap that tap that and tap that there you go it's all gone you can see now it's contiguous only works on where you're working it hasn't removed the entire background save that png file which is just what we want save as now that's why that's behaving strangely because i've taken it from something else s p y by transparency apply open in photos no 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 we don't want to open in photos more print save image that saved it to the file done there it is there now then let's open that there's the image we want let's get rid of that for the time being undo there it is there let's put the image we want add media is it in the photo library there it is there now we because i saved that add and you can see now it's got a clear background so let's hide that one and unhide that one and there we go that's all there is to it isn't that wonderful the only problem I've got this is an iPad mini remember and that save as button was just being hidden by the advertising in the right hand column uh, which isn't a big deal save as secret paradise 
Instagram, apply, open in photo. No, I don't want to open it in photo. I don't know why it's going to that, but that's something I've got set up. And I've saved it to, I've saved it to the um, Apple Photos directory. And we can tell that by having a look in Apple Photos. P H O T O. There it is there. And you can see, there we go. Now let's close that, open that back up, and there we go. We now have an Instagram post with what we want, a secret paradise. Go now. And there's not much else on there, but you can see how easy it is to use. And that's the part I was talking about. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. I hope you didn't find this too boring. I hope you found it really interesting because previously the first video I did was on the desktop with the browser. This one's on an iPad mini 6. Can't get much smaller than that. You could probably even do this on a decent sized iPhone. And if you don't want the ads, subscribe to Premium. If you can live with the ads there, the whole thing is free. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's really appreciated.